So here's required practical number 10. We're going to investigate the effect of temperature on the rate of decay of fresh milk by measuring pH change. So you will use an alkaline solution of milk. When lipase enzyme is added to the milk, the fat in the milk is broken down into fatty acids and glycerol. The sodium carbonate makes the pH slightly lower for us today. Cressol red is an indicator that is lilac -y purple in alkaline conditions, but when the pH drops below pH 8.3, Cressol red becomes yellow. Okay, so let's start. We're going to label two tubes, the smaller one, lipase, the larger one, milk. So in the lipase test tube, I'd like you to add, we'll give it a stir first, five centimeters cubed of lipase. So here's my enzyme. Okay, I'll leave that to one side. And in the milk tube, we're going to start with five drops of Cressol Red. Here's our indicator. It has to be five drops, so let's count carefully. One, two, three, four, five. I'd like to add five mils of milk, fresh milk. And then I want seven mils of sodium carbonate to make it more alkaline. You'll notice the colour change there, like we said. Cressol Red will be lilac -y purple in an alkaline solution. So I'll take both of these and I'll pop them into my water bath and I will leave those to get to temperature. Now this one is 60 degrees, so I have some set up from earlier. So these will be at 60 degrees. I'm going to take my milk solution out, which is still purple, with some lipase, which again is at 60 transfer those okay so I want to take one centimeter cubed of lipase and as soon as it goes into the milk you start timing and then you stir which we'll show you until you see a color change and you're completely happy that it's all yellow and then I want you to stop timing Two minutes. You can start to see a yellow twinge come in. I think that's a good colour change there, so I'm going to stop that there. I'll stop my stop clock and then go over to my results table. I would try each temperature from a range of 20 degrees to 60 degrees three times. I would calculate a mean. I would do that in seconds and then I would plot that on a graph and you'll see that. As the temperature increases, the time taken for the colour change to yellow decreases, therefore our rate of decay is much faster at higher temperatures.